question 14, which is about circular motion. So it's related to the previous circular motion problems we did with the car going around the turn. It says, in circular motion, the velocity, acceleration, and force vectors are respectively what? It's tangential, tangential, radially inward. All of them are radially inward. Radially inward, tangential, tangential, and then tangential, radially inward, radially inward. So which one is true? Well, when something is going around the circle, right? In the previous problem, I went, I explained why the acceleration is towards the center, okay? And what, the velocity is tangential, right? So the velocity is this way. Tangential means tangent to the circle, along the circle, okay? So the velocity vector is always along the circle. The acceleration is always towards the center, right? So velocity is this way. Acceleration is towards the center, centripetal acceleration. Okay, if the acceleration is towards the center, the force on the car has to also be towards the center. So F equals MA. So Newton's second law says force is mass times acceleration. Whatever the direction of the acceleration, the force has to be the same direction. So if the acceleration is a centripetal acceleration, then the force has to also be centripetal. Okay, so the choice therefore is you got force, force, force. So the velocity has to be tangential, the acceleration has to be centripetal, the force has to be centripetal radially inward. Okay, so the choice is D, velocity is tangential, acceleration radially inward, force is radially inward. Okay. We can ask the question, what is providing the force for a car to make the turn? And the answer is the friction force of the road, right? So the person who's driving the car is providing the force on the wheels by turning the wheels. The tires are turning, the tires are pushing the road outward, and the road in return is pushing the, uh, the car inward. Okay, so there's an action-reaction pair happening there. According to Newton's third law, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction force, right? So the tires are pushing the road outward, and because of the friction force, the road is going to push the tire uh, the inward. The, the road is going to push the car inward, you see? So that's an action-reaction pair. Therefore, force is also inward on the car, just as the centripetal acceleration is inward. Okay, so the answer is D. Thank you very much.